Hello and welcome to Touch Type Tail. If you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. This is a very unique title in the way that it's a real-time strategy that you control with typing, as you might expect. So, anyway, without further ado, let's start the campaign. There is an online multiplayer as well, if you would so desire to play that. And, um, yeah, it's going to be very intense, no doubt. Anyway, as you can see here... Touch Type Tale is a difficult game that will test your typing skills and strategic thinking. Each level will present you with a unique set of challenges to overcome. While there are many ways to enjoy the game, we encourage you to challenge yourself, as we think that is where it really shines. Alright, so, as you can see, we have easy, normal, hard, very hard, and heroic. And I'm probably just going to play on hard. This is the default difficulty level, as you can see right here. Good for learning the rules of the game the hard way while being presented with a tough challenge. Although, if you are not so confident in your typing skills, then of course you could just play on a lower difficulty. Or, if you are more, <laughs> more confident, then you can obviously play on something higher. But I'm going to play on hard for the moment. Alright. So we have Glenfurt right here, and that is where our first challenge is going to arrive. Beginnings, yes, beginnings. All right, so let's start the game. Control 10 or more units is our optional objective by the looks of things. This is what the map looks like. These are where the enemies are going to spawn from, the red X's, as you can see right there. And this is where we begin in the blue X's. So let's start and see what it all what is all what it's all about so our first objective is to mine six gold crates and as you can see here what, what what do i have to do well it's pretty obvious you type the words on the on the various buildings and that will that will take the camera into that particular building for you to be able to do other things so for example as you can see here we need to mine six gold crates this is the mine so i'm typing shifty right now and as you can see, typing the word above a building opens a subscreen, which lets you interact with that building. And, and now we actually have to press a particular key. In, in my case, D, it is randomized every single time you enter this place. And then you're going to be able to mine a couple of things. We're going to have to mine some gold here. So I'm going to have to continue pushing my cart along with D. And then I'm going to be continuing to type uh, the various words to mine all of this stuff out. Paul, what are you doing? I have told you countless times not to trifle with my instruments. Now look at what you've... Actually, your fingers, they are astonishingly nimble. I have never before seen their like. Hmm, let's try this. That gold you just mined will be of no use just lying here. So what we need to do is we need to hire villagers in the... Well, we need to hire workers to be able to get that. I'm actually just going to get a bunch more of these while I'm in the mine itself. Might as well. It's actually a relatively good idea because we're going to be able to then afford additional troops later down the line. And we're not really going to need a huge amount, of course, but I'm just making sure. That's it. I'm really just making sure. So now we can type flinty and we can go in here and now we can just hire some workers. As you can see, it's going to take gold for these workers to be hired and then they're going to travel all the way down to the mine. And as you can see, workers are hired by the day and will stop collecting gold at night. The time can be seen on the clock. So you can see there, it is primarily daytime and then there's a small section that is night and that's when workers will stop. So build a farm on one of the building plots to ensure income through the night. So you can now do that if you so desire. Now, I'm probably not going to do that right now. I'm probably just going to continue getting a couple of workers here. I want to get quite a few because I know for a fact that we have a lot of um, gold crates as I, as I obviously did before and we're now going to be building a farm so these various places with the little hammer icon they are places that you're going to be able to choose what you build there so you can build anything from a farm a barracks or um, any any of the other buildings that you have available anyway the farm is under construction now we can lie back and Edelbert Edelbert Mayor Caroline whatever is the matter Bandits, Rumpel and his gang have captured a farm in the barracks on the other side of the village. <laughs> Take whatever you want, boys. The king seems to be busy. There's no one here to stop us. Paul, we must save Glenfert. Build a barracks on the remaining building plot. We will have to recruit some spearmen. 
and that's exactly what we're going to do. So obviously my worker is going to be working and I'm going to be building a barracks as you can see right there. And now we just need to wait for our farm to be constructed. You can see it's already being built. The barracks is already being built as well. Technically what I could do is I could go here and we can do a little bit more mining if we want to be efficient with our time. But as you can see, the farm's construction wasn't that slow. And so the construction of the farm is complete. Plant wheat and wait for it to grow. So now we can head in there by typing harp and then we can just do this. And there we go. All of the wheat is now built. Well, built, <laughs> planted, and that will obviously grow over time. And now the barracks is ready. Activate it to recruit some spearmen. Every barracks controlled increases the maximum number of spearmen you can recruit. In other words, well, if you have a lot of resources, if you have a lot of economy, then you're going to be able to recruit more spearmen because, of course, you need gold to be able to do that. And so if you don't need a huge amount of gold, then you can create more barracks and so on and so forth. So anyway, we're going to go in here and we're going to open up the door. And now what's really cool about the barracks is that as long as the door is open, swordsmen and various other units will continue to be trained automatically. So as long as you have the gold, they will continue to be trained unless it reaches the maximum cap. Yeah, the building will now train units until you run out of gold or reach the unit limit, like I just said. You can stop auto-recruiting units by typing this word or any of the other words that would appear there because, of course, it is relatively randomized. So now, obviously, my workers are making it all the way over to the town. They're taking our... Uh, our gold crates all the way over there which is really nice and that means that they're selling the gold in the town and we're gaining gold for it so it's really nice anyway your first swordsman unit is trained and ready move them out and regain control of glenfert attack the blasted bandits as soon as you feel ready the sooner they're gone the better all right so that basically means if you take a look on the road there it says mates and yell now if i want my soldier to go down south then i will type yell but if i want him to go towards the bandits then i will type mates so you can see here they're giving me an arrow in just in case you don't actually understand how that works but i obviously do because i've already played this one and you know just to kind of get a handle on things a little bit there anyway now we can continue to send people over here and bear in mind that whenever your uh whenever your troops get to a new area they then have the ability to capture it. And you can see the capture bar at the very bottom there of those units. Obviously, it's a little bit small, so you can't really see it that well, but it is just about to be complete. And boom, there you go. They have now done that. So now what we can do is we can capture these things and we can decide what we want to go for. So if I want to go for a, uh, a farm here or a, uh, or a barracks, then I can, of course, do that. And I think I will go for a farm in that location and I will go for a barracks over here. The wheat has matured to a beautiful gold, ripe for harvest, harvest the crop for gold and sow new seeds. Yeah, I will do that in just a second, sir. Thank you very much. And I'm actually just gonna be building another barracks right there. So now we can go over here and we can harvest the wheat. As you can see, we're gonna have to do a little bit more work this time around, and then we can do what we need to do. Fantastic, right? Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Now what we can do is we can also get a couple more gold, uh, a couple more gold crates and everything if we want to do that too. And we'll probably go over into here just to get this built because then the wheat will do its thing. We'll also open up the gate to this barracks so that we can continue to recruit units. And that's what we'll try to go for. Otherwise, I will continue to try getting these things because we're going to need that. We are going to need this quite, uh, I, I, in my opinion, we're going to need this, but maybe we won't because we actually have two farms now, which is pretty good. I mean, generally, you can try to get as many farms as you want. I could have built two farms up there if I wanted to, but I actually wanted more, uh, more troops. We're just going to type this real fast just to get our people moving out here. And this is the point. Multitasking is a pretty big deal in this game, as you might expect with something that is a real-time strategy. If you've played something like StarCraft or something along those lines, then you'll you'll know what to do and uh, you'll know just how crazy it can actually be. Anyway, let's just go in here and as you can see, we have more wheat, so let's do it. There we go, fantastic. We got a bunch and then we can just do this and we got more wheat here as well. We have a load of gold right now. And what we're going to do after this, after I've done that, is we're going to send our people down here. 
And now we can actually do this. Well, we don't actually need to stop them because, well, if they get defeated, then it's going to be a good idea for us to get more. So let's just capture that down there. I think I can go in here. There are no workers, unfortunately, available. But we're just going to go back in here and just continue to do this, I suppose. There's not much more for me to do in, until my troops actually capture that area. And they will then be ready. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to get some archers. Because there is an archery range available as well. So we're going to do that. And obviously my farm is going to be ready re relatively soon too. A new day is broken. If we want to make money from the mine today, we should rehire workers. That's exactly what I was just about to do, sir. Thank you very much. So we're just going to hire a bunch of workers. Going to go for around seven to eight workers. Pretty happy with that. Uh, it seems like that's actually all I can do. It seems like that's, uh, that's, that's what we wanted to go for there. And we'll just go for this. And we'll just get a bunch more gold. And you can see exactly what's happening so now we're going to actually just send our people over there we're going to start uh, recruiting some archers and my uh, my wheat is now done in a variety of different places so we could just continue to type this continue to get this done there we go fantastic and then as you can see my troops have now started to encounter the opponent what do you think you're doing get lost before somebody gets hurt uh, well, actually, no, sir. I uh, I am going to be attempting to attack you, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, we are actually capturing this area, I believe, or we are reducing the, um, shall we say, influence of our opponent. And that seems to be working quite nicely for us. Let's just continue to send these guys out. We're going to be capturing that relatively soon. And then we can actually tell them to go wherever we want them to go. Now, you can change their formation, as you can see right here. So if I uh, press on, uh, hold control and press K or J or L, then we can actually change their formation and how they fight and so on and so forth. But for me personally, I'm fine with leaving, leaving them on the default for now. I don't think we really need to do much with that. And you can see here that my wheat is now done. We actually have so much gold right now. I don't think I really need much more of it. But we're going to continue just because it is relatively good to just have a, a little bit of a nest egg here. But most of the time, you're not really going to need to be this crazy about your economy. I don't think you're really going to need to do too much. So we're just going to continue sending people off here. And we've actually lost a couple of units. So we're going to continue sending them forward. As you can see, of course, there are no rally points. You're going to have to do all of the micromanagement yourself, which of course is the main deal here. You will have to do that. And that makes all the sense in the world because you want to be typing, of course, because I absolutely love these kinds of games. I love games that implement typing into these situations and i love the fact that this is a completely different genre as well because most of the time it's um some kind of top-down shooter which i don't actually mind either i i love those kinds of games as i say i think they are super super fun and we're actually just going to be sending these guys off in a second there we go we now actually have this uh, this farm available as well, so we actually captured a farm from the bandits themselves, which is rather amusing. And it seems like these... Oh no! We're actually losing a bunch of troops. Okay, that's not very nice, is it? Alright, we're going to have to do something about that. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to... I, I'm actually not going to be replanting, I don't think. I, I don't think it's worth me replanting any more wheat, is it? I'm actually not entirely sure, but we're just going to consolidate all of our troops into that center area right there while our other forces capture this, this area down in the bottom right. And we might as well actually just do a little bit of this. It's not really necessary. Yeah, you can also press backspace to stop uh, typing a word if you make a mistake like I did just now. But that's absolutely fine. It, you know, it's really not that big a deal if you do make a mistake. Although they do give you your uh, statistics after... <laughs> After the level is done, so we're going to see how absolutely wonderful I was in regards to my accuracy. And I can wholeheartedly assume that because obviously this is the tutorial level, you're not really going to be attacked that dramatically. Whereas time will no doubt pass very, very quickly in future uh, future um, the levels and they're actually going to attack you much more dramatically. So we're now going to attack from both sides. As you can see right here, we're moving both of our troops or, or uh, troop regiments over into the opponent. 
and we will hopefully be able to then achieve a victory. There we go. We have completely murdered those guys. And I think we're probably... I think we're actually fine. There seems to only be three enemies over there, which is actually quite amusing. And there we have it. I think we're done. We're actually just going to remove their presence from this area right here, just in case. And there we go. That was the last of them. Well fought, Paul. And there we are. Okay, so my words per minute obviously was, well pretty low I think I actually have no idea what the average is to be honest but there you go my accuracy was 98.71 percent probably could have been 100 but you know me talking and, and commentating and all that stuff anyway we were able to get three stars and we also completed the optional objective which is very cool and now we can continue onward so we now have the ability to do the next level and attack a group of units from multiple sides okay yeah i think we can probably do that and as you can see there is a completely different map this one i have not done rumpel the leader of the bandits returned hungry for revenge the villagers were once more in desperate need of Paul's nimble fingers. Yeah, so as you may or may not tell, he has a magical typewriter, or a very powerful typewriter that does things, yes. Anyway, Rumpel and his gang are attacking again. They must not capture Glenfurt. Capture and light the beacons as fast as possible. Lighting all three will signal to nearby provinces that we need help. I'll provide some cavalry for more support. All right, so you can split your units. As you can see, this is down here. And you can split your units by pressing Control K before giving a move command. So what we can do is we can do this. And we now split our units in two, which is obviously very useful. So we can now send our... Uh, I'm actually going to capture... This. Should I capture this area first? Or should I move on? Haha, <laughs> look at those fools. Do you think your little village could withstand Rumpel the Mighty? I'll show you who's boss round here. Let's go, boys. All right, well, um, yeah, maybe maybe they will. Maybe they won't. But I'm actually wondering whether I can capture these areas. It seems like I can capture these areas, so I actually wonder whether I'm going to get anything for it. No, we're just capturing them. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Let's move on here. Let's go on here. I'm not going to capture the one in the bottom left just yet because that is the one closest to our territory. So it doesn't really make too much sense for me to go there straight away. So we're just going to capture these towers. Okay, I'm a bit worried about this now because, yeah, we'll see. Ah, swordsmen and cavalry units deal damage, deal charge damage actually based on how fast they are moving. Don't let Rumpel rush into idling units at waypoints. If you are outnumbered, sometimes retreating is the best option. Okay, so if I actually go down here, we can attack them. Let's let's retreat these fellows. Let's act, let's actually charge after them right here. And they're hopefully going to deal massive damage. Hopefully, we will be able to deal massive damage. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're actually fighting quite nicely. And we might... Oh, no, we actually lost one. Are you serious? I can't believe it. I can't believe we lost one of our cavalry. That is That is pretty terrible. Okay, thankfully, we seem to be fine now. And we are now recapturing that area. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. We're going to charge into that guy. And we're also going to be capturing this. Okay, there we go. We now have this. Let's let's light the flare. I love the uh, I love the aesthetic of this game as well, really. By the way, it's, it's extremely charming. A new day has broken. Archers have returned to their posts on controlled waypoints. Yes, that's actually fantastic. That's going to be super, super useful for us. This is one person. One person is over there. That's really funny. Okay, so we'll just send this guy over here if I can. I'm actually typing incorrectly. Wonderful. And let's just do this over this way. And now we can do this torch. And let's move these guys over there. Uh, let's actually not do that one. Let's do this. There we go. That's a little bit easier for us. And I think we should be fine actually now. I don't think we need to really worry too much. And I'm just going to capture this area over here while we can. And I should probably send them over there. Hit them hard and push through. All right, so we're actually going to be getting some uh, some more, more people coming in, more enemies coming in. Let's actually just do this, and there we have it. Okay, so what's this over here? No, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so Glenford's beacons are lit. Hurry, they need aid. As long as those three beacons remain lit, all available forces are to march to Glenford. All right, so there we go. So now we're going to be gaining 
some people here and we're now actually going to have the ability to command individual units or individual unit regiments as you can see down in the bottom left we've gained additional sub menus so that's actually really interesting okay so these guys are not having the best of times let's actually send my cavalry down here just to assist them even though they do have archers i'm not entirely sure why they're having such such problems but whatever the case let's just do that and we'll send these guys up here. Yes! Oh, massive damage right there. Massive damage. Okay, fantastic. Uh, can we send more of them? Yeah, let's send some more of our people over there. Let's send our cavalry over in this direction. Are we actually having issues over here? It seems like we're having issues with my, uh, with my cavalry. That's not particularly good, is it? Okay, well, <laughs> we can only hope that they're going to survive. We've got five of them still remaining, so I suppose that's decent-ish. Okay, that guy's gonna die, I think. He might have some issues. Okay, yeah, no, he's gonna be fine. There we go. We don't really have any resources in this particular level as well either, by the way. So that might actually be a consideration to take into account because that means that we're going to have a much easier time of things. Let's actually light this up again. As you can see, you can lose control of these places. So you do need to be a bit careful of that. Oh, they've got archers. Are you serious that they have archers? That's absolutely terrible. Okay, that is really, really bad. Oh, no. Okay, oh, thankfully, oh, no, no, there, there we go, there we go. We actually did capture that. Okay, that's perfect. Let's actually send a bunch more over there. That's it, I've had it with this boy. Send in the archers. What's your brilliant plan? Attack my archers from both sides at once to draw them into melee combat? Huh, <laughs> foolish. Attack your opponents from multiple directions to increase your damage by 25% per additional side. Flanked archers will be drawn into melee combat. All right, so where are his archers? That's the question. Are his archers actually going to come out of here, or, uh... I actually have no idea where they're going to be. Uh, it seems like they're coming from the top there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to send these guys down here. And we're going to do this. There we go. Let's send these guys over in this direction. I want to capture this particular area, though, first. There we go. Let's send them like so. There we are. Okay, so there are the archers, and I want to obviously capture this again. So this is going to be a little bit, a little bit interesting. Okay, so they're actually going this way, um, rather amusingly enough. Okay, so let's attack them in the middle here. Let's attack these guys as well. And these guys are going to have to get charged at. I'm actually not entirely sure if we're even going to be able to achieve victory at this point. It feels, feels pretty. Uh, <laughs> feels pretty unlikely actually surprisingly enough okay so it seems like we're doing okay over there we might have to retreat a little bit so all things considered but we are gaining more troops Ooh, that was that was pretty harsh that was pretty harsh okay so we are getting some more people here i'm just gonna have to continue making our cavalry go over this way and hopefully my spearmen will be enough okay so yeah, that's that's not going to be enough, unfortunately, right now. So I'm thinking maybe we should... Should we retreat? Actually, you know what? No, let's not do that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's actually do something like this. Going to try a little bit of a different strategy right here. Going to uh, send these guys back here. Oh, I, I can't actually do that because they actually entered battle. No. Okay, that's pretty terrible. Uh, yeah, okay, so we can do this. Yeah, these guys are absolutely getting murdered. Thankfully, we do have two cavalry ready over there, and we can actually send these guys from behind. Okay, there we go. Yes, we did it. Fantastic. We actually did the, uh, the achievement flanked and the objective there. We did it. That was the last of them. We should be safe for now. And there we go. Okay, so we were able to do that. And we've now also uh, leveled up. I'm actually not entirely sure what leveling up does in this game, but maybe we'll see in just a second. Anyway, as you can see, we have three stars because obviously we were doing this on hard difficulty, but you're going to be able to unlock additional things. What is this? We actually unlocked this. What is that? Glenford's first encounter with Rumble. Mayor Caroline calls for King Carl's help. Split up your units is the objective there. 
and that's obviously a, a different map so you can see exactly what's going on with this game by now let's do this this is like a flashback kind of thing a few years earlier my king this is the scoundrel that has been terrorizing glenfurt oh me now then i'm hardly a scoundrel i'm merely a concerned mysterian checking up on my favorite village I know this, Churl. Rumpel, you and your ragtag group of bandits must leave Glenford immediately. Ah, I will do no such thing. The food here is wonderful. We were having a great time until you came along. So be it. Ready our forces, Ferdinand. At once, my king. Okay, so we have to capture Rumpel's village. Start by hiring workers to quickly generate income. Alright, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that very, very quickly. Let's just do that. And we're going to have to go in here to mine some stuff, because obviously we don't have anything. We don't have anything mined right now, so let's do that. And we're going to have to go quite quickly, so I'm going to try to continue pressing this as much as I can. There we go. Yes, yes, more of this, more of this. So much more, please. There we go, yes. More of this. We need more of these, and then hopefully what we'll be able to do, because we were only able to hire two workers, amusingly enough, so very, very slow start right now. But hopefully all of this is going to make a big difference. So let's do that. There we go. Wonderful. I'm just trying to get as much as I possibly can. And then let's do this, and we're going to build, uh, gonna build a farm right about there. I should have built the farm actually a little bit further away, I think, probably. That might have made a slightly slightly more of a difference. And amusingly enough, I probably should have built, or shall we say, recruited some more workers. But I guess this just gives me more opportunities to get, um, to get some mining done. So I, I think that's fine. Let's go over here now. We'll do some wheat. And we should now have enough for some more workers. There we go. And the more times our workers can go and uh, hand in the gold and sell it at the marketplace, the more times we're going to be able to uh, recruit them. So obviously that's uh, a little bit, a uh, little bit unfortunate. But yeah, this obviously gives me more opportunities to mine. And I've made some mistakes right there, as you could quite clearly tell. But oh well, never mind. It's not really that big a deal, I suppose. I'm not sure how much that actually influences your overall rating, if it influences it at all. But um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with this so far. Okay, so here we go. I need 55 gold to get a barracks, or I can get a spear, uh, spear place, you know, spearman generating barracks, or I can get something else. But I'm pretty happy with what we have right there, so I'm just going to go for the swordsman. And then we should get some more workers. Let's get some more workers, why not? There we go. This is now done, which is absolutely perfect, because the faster you're actually able to get the wheat harvested, the more money you're going to be able to gain. And we should probably just get this last worker, and then we will open up our wonderful barracks. And hopefully what we'll be able to do is start capturing some of these other sections on the map. Because once we can capture these sections, we can get another farm, we can get another barracks, and we can start making even more money. Which is exactly what we want to do. So let's send out my first swordsman. And uh, yeah, I think I might as well do some more mining in the meantime. Obviously we're going to have to continue boosting this up. There we go. Boost it. Boost it real good. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. And bear in mind, it is now nighttime, so the workers will no longer work, which is unfortunate, but that's fine, because as long as we have a little bit of a nest egg in regards to how much, uh, how much we have here, I don't really need to then do much later on down the line. So that's obviously what I'm wanting here. Anyway, let's go over here. As you can see, there is already a, uh, there's already an opponent uh, moving our way, which is not very good. So that guy must have been much, much faster than us, which is not exactly great. But um, yeah, we'll just have to move these guys over here and hopefully capture this before he can. And we're going to have to move over into the southeastern section as well in just a second. Okay, there we go. We've actually murdered that. That's good. You could split these units. Yes, I will attempt to do that in just a second. So let's do... Let's do this, and we will split them a little bit. Oh, I actually did the wrong thing right there. Mm, it's because they were in combat, of course. It's because they were in combat. Okay. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. 
Okay, yeah, so he is actually almost winning this, <laughs> surprisingly enough. Oh no, this is this is very bad. Okay, well, my forces actually don't seem to be uh, taking too much damage right now, which I'm kind of happy about. But um, let's just continue to do this. Let's do a nice little flank. Yeah, there we go. He overextended. He absolutely overextended right here, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect for us. Let's go here. We're going to try and get some more workers if we can. Uh, there we go. We've got this going on. Lovely. Super. Lots of, uh, lots of wheat. Let's do this as well. There we go. Just get a huge amount of them. Not, not really too many, but just enough. And then we will also split these guys. Well, not split them, but we're going to take them that way. Why, why are they going? Why are they going backwards? Did I, did I type wrong? Oh no, I must have typed wrong. Okay, well that's pretty bad. Oh no. Okay, yeah, let's send them back over this way. Yeah, my forces are now absolutely getting murdered, which is to be expected, of course. I think we might be okay over there. Potentially. Uh, okay. Uh, let's actually just split these guys up for a real quick second. So let's do this. And okay, there we go. We actually did it. And now we can send this guy down here. And we're just going to have to continue sending them. I should have built the barracks where the farm is. You see, I should have built the barracks where the farm is. That would have made much more sense. Let's actually build, um, I guess some archers are going to be kind of useful. So let's get some archers and then we'll build a uh, another farm, I think. Another farm could be kind of useful here. And let's do this. We're going to also capture that down there and we'll get these guys outside as well. Let's get my wheat. As you can see, there's just so much stuff to do. There is absolutely huge amounts to do here, and you're going to have to keep on top of it all. And we're just going to do this, get our archers out. Let's start our wheat production too. Uh, let's get these guys there. There we go. And we can now do this. Okay, I'm going to probably just get some more. I'm not sure whether he's going to have cavalry. Is he going to have cavalry? If he has cavalry, then spearmen might be really, really good for us. But I'm thinking we might just go for cavalry ourselves. So I'm going to go for cavalry ourselves down here. And let's actually just send these guys over there. There we have it. Okay, so now wheat is no doubt going to be coming up relatively soon. Going to assume over here, potentially. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Well, let's send some people over in this direction. We might need to do some more mining, to be honest. Um, yeah, no, yeah, I mean, we've got 14 left over, but you see exactly why I decided to do so much of it early on. It really makes a huge difference, in my opinion. Let's get some horses out here. Send these guys over in that direction. And we got a bunch of people over in that in that space, so that's really, really nice. Let's actually send them over here. Okay, so my wheat is now done. There we go. Okay, perfect. Nice. And we are, our wheat is also done over here. And the, the, that's the funny thing, the faster that you can actually type, the faster you're going to be able to produce new units and, uh, you know, go forward with your invasion of the opponent's lands and territory and everything so really makes a huge difference my archers are absolutely doing a uh, i think they're doing a good job are they are they actually doing a good job i i don't even know i don't even know at this point but yeah i, I guess so i guess they're doing a good job uh, i don't know anyway hopefully they're doing fine and we just need to make sure that we capture all of these areas and maybe we can do a nice little flank let's do a nice little flank yeah here we go here we go nice little flank coming in we need to take this section, in my opinion. That's really going to make a huge difference. There we go. He, they, they're forcing the archers into melee, which is obviously not great. But now my forces are doing pretty nicely here. Um, I'm going to have to split these guys. So let's just split them up. Oh, no, never mind. One of my archers absolutely murdered him. Okay, that was great. It is in the middle of the night as well. Let's get these guys out here. Let's get these things here. I'm just going to have to do the wheat and do this wheat as well unfortunately i did not replant the previous one which is unfortunate that is kind of bad of me but it's fine and we have a lot of money right now we have a lot of money so we can actually start doing some really really cool things here let's start moving down this way let's go here Let's get this guy over there. There we go. Okay, so now we really want to make sure that we capture this. 
and we should capture that uh, that central area as well. I think we already ca no no we we've almost captured it. Okay, there we go. Now we captured it, and now we can just continue to move this way. Let's go like so, and we're gonna have to capture that area over there. We actually haven't even opened this up, which is really really bad. But now we've opened it, so now we can get more archers which is pretty useful in my opinion. I, I don't know, I think archers might be really strong. I think they might be the strongest thing available, potentially. Um, let's go for some uh, Let's go for some spearmen now, even though spearmen are all the way at the bottom here. Not a big fan of that. Their positioning is a little bit off, but of course that is very much on purpose. So maybe putting cavalry there might have made more sense. But by my saggy left buttock, Carl, you know you're a massive killjoy, right? Let's go back to the woods, boys. We'll be back. Just you wait. And there you go. Look at that. <laughs> I was actually able to achieve victory there, surprisingly enough. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much the gameplay loop in Touch Type Tale. And I'd highly recommend it. If you're a fan of RTS, if you're a fan of typing games like I am, I love both of those genres and mixing them in such a seamless fashion is just an incredible experience. It's so incredibly fun and fluid as well. You wouldn't think that it would work so well as it does, but it really, really does. Anyway, there is a link in the description if you want to check it out. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.